Hi guys, it's Poppy here. Uh, last week I had a request to make a video tutorial on how to um, on how I styled my hair into a death hawk, um, which some of you may have seen before in some of my modelling pictures. Uh, it's really really easy to do. It takes about sort of ten fifteen minutes. Um, there's no sort of shaving or cutting involved or anything like that. It's all just back combing and spraying and just. Yeah. Most people can with different you know style and length of hair, of hair can do it. Um, unless your hair's really, really short or really, really long and heavy, but as long as you backcomb it enough and make it really big, then it, yeah, it should be fine. So what you'll need, uh, you need a comb, just any sort of comb will do. One of these little sectioning grips, just one of, one of those or a couple of those would be fine. Some hairspray, I, I like this stuff, it's, it's pretty good and it's pretty, pretty cheap really, like from Superdrug and Boots and stuff. Really, really recommend this stuff, um, it's uh, got to be powerful by Swapped Cough. Um, it's generally just really good for making your hair big anyway and um, it's really really good to use before back combing uh, so we'll be using some of that today and some of these lots and lots of these little uh, bobby pins which yeah, you can get them anywhere really also I have one of these uh, there's like a root crimper um, all it is really is just it's just like a, a smaller version of a normal crimper like one of these but Generally, these are just better. You can get these from like Superdrug for about 25 30 quid, but yeah, you, you, don't, you don't need this, but I do recommend it you know, for doing this hairstyle. So, step one, you'll need to uh, prepare your hair for back combing. So, what I'll be doing um, firstly is crimping all the sort of roots of my hair. So, I'll just show you quickly on how to do that. So, basically, you just section it, crimp it, and yeah, just, just the roots. So, you want to start the crimping right at the bottom of the nape of your neck, uh, working your the way up to the top of your head. So you just want to take a horizontal section starting at the very bottom. Just like I don't know you can't really see it at the moment but you'll see it in a minute. And just like that. So just get your little crimpers so any normal crimpers would be fine or these ones here. So you just want to I don't know if you can really see that. Basically just crimp it. So about an inch thick at a time. This is also a really good technique to use when you just want to have bigger volumised hair. Um, just crimping and then just using some of that got to be powerful stuff as well is really good. Try not to burn yourself as well, quite easy to do. So you just basically carry on doing that until you get to the very top. As you can see it's starting to get bigger already. It is really important to try and take small sections at a time because the more sort of hair it gets concentrated on there the better and the bigger it will go. So that's preparation done. As you can see it's gone quite a bit bigger now. So, so that's ready to do back comb now. So. So step two would be the backcombing part. So basically you just want to backcomb it as much as you can so it's like absolutely massive. So basically again you start at the bottom working your way up towards the top. So get your got to be uh, styling powder. And you just want to sprinkle it mostly on the roots. As you can see it gets a bit everywhere. And rub it in. So it's all completely saturated. So taking small sections, just backcomb it as much as you possibly can. It will look a bit weird at first, but you'll see why we do it. And yeah, it will be a massive bitch to get out later, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> so if you've, if you've got really long, thick hair, try and make take smaller sections, because the heavier your hair is, the more difficult it is to backcomb, but that's what this stuff is so good for, because it will really make it go all fluffy. It's really good stuff. So don't hold back at all with the backcombing, you literally want it as big as you can possibly get it. So 
So yeah, basically you want to try and make sure you haven't got any straight bits left, so that you proper like 80s punk style. So, alright, so I think our backcombing is done, so it's pretty big, <laughs> well, as good as we can get. For the next step we will need our little bobby pins, what we've got here. We'll need our hairspray as well. This bit will be sort of moulding the mohawk shape. So basically, um, you have a comb, um, and what you really want to do now is just smooth the sides right down. It's so easy, like, it's such a good shape. Yeah, just use your pins just to secure that flat bit down like that. So just use your spray to secure that flat bit down. Just smooth it down a bit as well. So you want to try and pin the back in a bit as well, on those sides. So you can see it's starting to go into its mohawk shape now. So if you didn't need to do any sort of more back combing, you should do so. Just because sometimes if you've got sort of heavy hair, it will start to droop down a bit. Right, so the last step you need to do is get your hairspray and to start moulding it into the sort of mohawk sort of shape. So you just want to take all that hair into the middle. So now basically try and bring the mohawk a bit forwards, like this. You probably have more than enough spray in there to help do that. Any bits out of control, just keep back caving. Also what, what does really help as well, if you have any, um, any putty or any gel or um, you know, any sticky stuff as well. I just found some wax, this stuff, uh, VO5 just moulding wax, so that will help keep it in place as well, so just take some of that into your hands. So yeah, basically that's it really, um, sometimes I like to take these little side bits down just here. I'm probably glued to my head now. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Obviously it's not perfect, but you can't really get it all pretty anyway. So we'll just have a play with it until we get the shape. So I'll just show you the finished look. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video tutorial today. Um, I'll be doing some more different styles and whatnot anyway. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful as well. So yeah, there we go.